What's going on, ladies and gents, boys and girls, and welcome back to Football Collectibles South Coast YouTube channel. And today we've got another diff bit of a random one today. So went on eBay, uh, found a seller that was doing a kind of mystery uh, 15 card pack. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not? Let's see what let's see what it's about. I have opened it. I've not seen all of the cards that's in there, um, but yeah, so it's a decent size package. So 15 cards. Uh, I think it says you know uh, collections like uh, Topps Crystal. Uh, Chronicles, uh, some legacy sort of stuff, as in um, kind of historic things, that sort of thing. So yeah, it seemed quite decent. £15, not too expensive, not too pricey, so I thought we'd give it a go. So yeah, let us know what you think of it as we go through the video, guys. Don't forget to drop comments. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, aiming to hit 700 subscribers by the end of 2020. And obviously now we're going into a lockdown, guys. What more do you want to do than watch football card openings? on a daily basis and look no further. Here we are, let's get into this. Okay, so as I said, 15 cards, uh, random, don't know what they are, again, different kind of collections, Chrome, uh, Chronicles, uh, that sort of stuff, Chris, Tops Crystal, all that sort of stuff uh, was in the description. I'll leave a link in the, uh, the description for this video to the eBay seller, so if you do wanna you know, randomly go for a punt and see what you get. Obviously, I doubt we'll get cards that are worth a lot of money uh, unless the seller is uh, a bit silly. Uh, but let's see what we get. So we'll just tip them out. Let's see what we're getting. Let's see what we're getting. Uh, there we go. So there's the 15 cards. So there's some in penny sleeves, some in um, kind of holders as well. So let's go through these ones first. So we've got... Uh, David Neres of Ajax from Topps Crystal. Uh, Nicola Morrow, again from Topps Crystal. Uh, Stefan de Vries, Topps Crystal. And Luis Suarez. So that's not too bad. What we got here? Rude Hullet, great. So Rude Hullet, great midfielder. Netherlands. I see there's a few Chera uh, cards, so they're quite cool. Number 103. Just gives you a bit, obviously, born in 62. Where was he born? A bit, a bit about him. So they're quite nice cards to get. Nice and nice and quite thick, those ones. I don't know if you can see how thick those cards are, but a really decent bit of card in there. So that's quite a cool one. Let's go back to these. What else have we got? So we've got a Pjanic, Mulan Pjanic, a midfielder, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Again, Futura unique card. Born obviously ninety, so this is quite. A, this is maybe a a decent one to keep hold of. Obviously, Pjanic obviously just gone to uh, Barcelona, I believe it is. I don't know what kit that's obviously playing in the Bosnia kit by the looks of it. So that's quite a decent one. And again, a nice decent thickness on these cards. It looks really cool actually. Uh, and we've also got oh, again another one. So we've got a legend. So this looks like it's from Panini Chronicles. It's Don Ross. So Thierry Henry, Panini Legend. Uh, so yeah, oh no, 2019, 2018-19 uh, season this one has come from. Uh, so 20-year-old Henry in the picture there with, he looks older than 20 in that in that picture. Obviously in his France kit, so that's quite a nice one to pull. Thierry Henry of France. Uh, what else do we got? We've got Prestige, uh, Don Russ. Uh, picture Perfect. So obviously that's Jasper Sillison when he was at Ajax. So that is a decent looking card as well. Number 27. So 1989, position goalkeeper, where was he born? All that kind of stuff. So this is 16, uh, 17 uh, Panini collection. So again, these are very wide ranging in obviously what these cards are. But again, a nice, nice card, decent looking card as well. What have we got next? Uh, so this one we've got uh, Christian Tello of Fiorentina. Again, so this is a Panini uh, Don Ross. Again, so this is from 16-17 season. Uh, so two years sent at Porto. A Barcelona product was once again sent out on loan for the 16 season. This time to Fiorentina. So when he was out on loan, I uh, can't remember where he is now, actually, Tello. Let's have a look. Next one. So there's more than, there's going to be more than 15 cards here, actually. I'm going to count them up at the end. Uh, so Felipe Melo of FC Internazionale, or Inter Milan as we all know them. Again, so this is another Don Ross from Panini. 
again 16-17 season so we're going decent looking cards these they are good cards and again if you saw our uh, the amazing panini chronicles opening we did recently uh, where we pulled fatty and mason greenwood rookie tickets then if you haven't seen that guys i'll leave a link in the description at the end but wow what an opening that was so yeah really like these cards uh so jean mario uh sporting sporting and again don russ uh 16 17 season again but did you know mario earned his first cut with portugal as a substitute replacing cristiano ronaldo so you got a bit of a useless fact there for any of you factoids um so let's see what we've got here uh, so again we've got another don russ this is uh hugo Lloris in his france kit goalkeeper position uh, and again so we are 18 19 uh, season for this one so again quite nice ones those ones and they're french kits and um, we've also got a couple of ones for french actually so benjamin pavard again in the french kits so panini don russ again 18 19 season so this was probably for the uh, World Cup, I would say, when uh, the World Cup was on. Uh, and again, we finish off these with Ungo Kante, again from France. Uh, again, six, uh, 18, 19 season as well. I do like the fact they've got decent sort of inf bit of information on the backs of these. They're not just plain uh, like some of the normal Panini or Tops products. Uh, they're quite cool. So that's not too bad. So they're the kind of older ones. So what we've got here, we've got a Panini Prism. At Kieran Clark of Newcastle. So these again, awesome design on the prison cards. I do like the prisms. Uh, when's this one from? So this is 1920. So this would have been uh, the recent Chronicles one. That's a number 212. Again, bit of information on the back there and where he's from, when he was born, all that kind of stuff. And position defender. Uh, and now we come to ones that are in kind of the, the top loaders kind of stuff. And that is an awesome looking card. Uh, so Michael Essien. Uh, when he was at Panathinaikos, again, this is a Don Russ. Kind of speckle effect into that as well. It looks like, look at that. And they're like, that looks well cool. Good hollow coming through there. Uh, so Michael Essian, Panathinaikos. Uh, again, this is the going back to 1617 collection. Uh, did you earn, did you know, Essien earned the nickname the Bison for his powerful play. He was a powerful player uh, in his heyday. But that's a, that's a cool looking hollow card, that one. And um, we've got a rookie card, uh, XR from Syria out of Roma, and it's Gianluca Mancini. So again, a little bit of a hollow in the background of that one. Nice looking card, obviously got the rookie rookie card uh, symbol in the back there as well. And this is from, again, so this is from Chronicles 1920 uh, from Panini. Uh, so XR number 15, again, so that's a decent card. And we've also got from... Top's finest Champions League. So we've got the Vinicius Junior uh, forwards. Again, that's a quite a decent one, actually. Again, it'll be interesting to see um, if these are worth anything. Again, it's from 18 19 season. Uh, so not sure if it's his rookie or not. I doubt it is probably not his rookie card. Um, but it was, we'll, we'll see. Maybe worth something in the future. We'll keep, obviously, we're going to keep hold of these. Again, something I am looking at doing. Um, on the side really from the tops and panini kind of match attacks adrenaline stuff is getting some more of these cards uh, again hopefully uh, the the we've ordered the tops champions league summer signings uh, and the tops uh, now and tops living sets as well so we've got a few of those coming uh, so we're getting those out on the channel in the next couple of weeks but yeah so that's pretty decent haul really from a 15 pound uh random ebay uh auction so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen cards in total so not 15 as i said at the start of the video uh but yeah i would say you know those uh, definitely those ones i really like those ones from from this collection i think they're probably the nicest ones in there uh but again some decent looking cards Again, we'll keep hold of these. Obviously, uh, Crystal, we did kind of start collecting that, but it's kind of fell by the wayside, really. I'm going to try and complete it, again, maybe through eBay. Excuse me, I don't think I need any of those, unfortunately, but never mind. But yeah, decent. Not bad from a £15 buy from eBay. Uh, so again, we'll leave the link in the description to that seller. Uh, so if you do want to check them out, check them out. As always, 
excuse me, check out the links in our description to our Instagram uh, and to the various, we'll, we'll leave links to the tops and Panini in, in, in this video because we've got both uh, sets of cards and everything in this video. So do check their websites out as always guys. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you are new. Uh, we are aiming to get 700 subscribers by the end of the year, so help us along the way. Uh, we've just done a giveaway. Probably going to do a massive, massive giveaway if we hit a 1,000 subscribers uh, as well. So, yeah, keep subscribing, keep sharing our content, and keep doing what you're doing, guys. Really appreciate all the support we do get. It does blow my mind on a daily basis. Until the next one, guys. Cheers.